we're going to look at writing algebraic expressions. Now first we need to go over a few definitions. The first one is what exactly a variable is. This is going to be a symbol, um, usually a letter, not a drawing or anything, but it's usually a letter that represents one or more numbers. Now an algebraic expression, this is going to also be called a variable expression. In some books we'll see it listed as algebraic expression, some will see it as a variable expression. It means the same thing. Basically it's a mathematical phrase that can have numbers, variables, and operation symbols. Now with an expression there's no equal sign. Okay, so something like n plus 7 or 2x minus 3. These two are algebraic expressions because there's no equal sign. You cannot solve an algebraic expression. You can simplify it but never solve it. Now an equation is just an expression but it has an equal sign. So it's a mathematical sentence that uses an equal sign. So like 4x minus 6 equals 3. This I can solve. I have an equal sign. Whereas the expression, I don't have an equal sign, and I cannot solve it. Now, an open sentence. This is an equation that contains more than one variable. For example, 3y plus 2x equals 7. The x and the y are both different variables. They represent different numbers. Therefore, it's an open sentence. Same thing as 4a minus 7 equals b. a and b are different variables representing different numbers. Alright, when we're looking at writing an algebraic expression, what's going to help us is certain words that mean different operations. So we have addition. Now with addition you can see add or addition, sum of, plus, increase by, or even more than. These are all words that we will use the operation for addition for. Now subtraction, we're going to use subtract, decrease by, difference, less than, take away, minus. These words and phrases all mean that we'll need to use subtraction in order to work the operation. Now multiplication, you use these, you'll see it multiply, times, product, multiply by, per or each. So when you see any of these words, you'll know you'll need to multiply. Now division, you're going to have divide, separate, that lovely word quotient that I'm sure some of you have heard, divide by or split into. All of these we're going to use the division operation if we see one of those keywords. Now is is always going to mean the equal sign. So we definitely need to remember is means equal. Now when writing an algebraic exp expression we'll be given a phrase, the product of 7 or x and 7. This, if we remember back at the previous slide, the product means multiplication. So we're going to multiply. Okay, and it says that the x and 7. So we're going to have x is a variable and 7. So my answer is going to be 7 times x or we can also write it as 7x. When they're written together that's known as multiplication. The second one, for more than x. Now more than, remember, was addition. We have x and we have 4. Now more than is a special case. When it says more than, that means these two in the 4 to x order needs to be flipped. So when I'm writing my expression, it's going to be x plus 4. So when you see more than, you'll know you need to flip the two. Now with the third one, this is another special case, just like more than where we flip the two order. Less than, we're going to flip it also. So we have 9 less than twice m. Now twice means 2 times m, which is the same as 2m. Now, same thing as before, we have to flip this 9 and the 2m. 
So my answer is going to be 2m minus 9. The last one, it says the quotient of b and 4. Quotient means division. So we are dividing. And we have the b and the 4. When we're doing this, you're always going to go the order and then put the division sign in between. So if I have b first, written first, I'm going to do b divided by 4. You can write it that way or you can write it b over 4. Either way works. It means the same thing. Now, writing equations when we actually have a long sentence. Now, excuse the um, brushing out. I think my dog slid across the slide. Now, this first one, it says total cost is the number of cans times 76. Now, times, remember, is multiplication. So, I need to first set my variables, name what each letter is going to mean. I'm going to say T means my total cost, and C means the number of cans. So it's saying here that the total cost is. Is is our keyword for equal. So that's equal. So I'm going to do T equals the number of cans, which we said was C, times, which is multiplication, 70 cents. So over here I have 70 cents times C. Remember when they're written together like this, it means multiplication. The second one says the perimeter of a square equals 4. So the perimeter of a square equals 4 times the length of a side. Now I've set P as my perimeter, so that's this part. Equals, remember, equal sign says 4 times. Times is multiplication, so I do 4 times the length of the side. I said the length of a side is going to be L. And I just do a cursive L so you can determine if it's a 1 or an L. Alright, so if I write this all out, I have P equals 4 times L. So I do 4L. And there's my equation. And this last one, the length of rope in feet used to put up tents is 60 times the number of tenths. I'm going to set the length again of the rope to equal L and T as the number of tenths. So I have the length of rope, which is L, and feet used to put up the tenths is 60. And there's times, so that's multiplication, the number of tenths, and that was T. So in the end, Remember, we have an is right here, so that's where my equal sign is going to be. So I do the L equals 60 times T, so 60T. And there's my equation for that one. The last thing we're going to look at is writing equations when you're given a data table. So this first one, I have the number of workers and I also have the number of radios built. So if I have one worker, that one builds 13. If I have two workers, I have 26. Three, I have 39. Four, I have 52. Notice each time I add a worker, I add 13 radios. So I need to write an equation. First, I need to define my variables. I'm going to say W is the number of workers I have. And R is the number of radios actually built. So we notice each time you added a worker, you added 13 radios. So each time, I'm going to do 13 times the number of workers. So my answer is going to be R equals 13W. And this is an equation that actually represents this data table. Now with this second one, I have the number of tapes and the cost. Notice each tape is 850. So if I have 2, then it's $17. 3, it's $25.50. And 4, it's $34. I'm going to set T as the number of tapes I have. And C is going to be my cost. So my cost is going to equal 
850 times the number of tapes I have. And then this equation matches this data table.